Let's wrap some text around an object and a photo. It's lots of fun and it's not hard to do, but there are some little details that you have to pay attention to. So let's open Illustrator. And I have some text all ready to go. The important thing is to put your text in a shape. It can be a shape that uh, it can be a preset shape, shape like a polygon, a star, circle, which is what I'm going to use. Or you can create your own shape. For our purposes, I'm just going to select the rectangle tool. And I'm going to make a big rectangle. And then I select the area type tool and just click on the path. I get the cursor and I paste my pre-designed text. <clears throat> we have a lot of text in here, so I'm going to make this box bigger so we have access to more of it. And the next thing is, with any shape, I just come in. I'm going to use the ellipse tool. So I have and I believe that the ellipse must be on top of the text. So now I can select the oval, shift click my text, and then I go object, text wrap, make. And there you go. Now here's the weird thing. If I click away, we have a little bit of a margin of the text. I would like more. And if I click on this object right here, I can apply more margin. But if I click on this, it's not going to work. So what I need to do is deselect, select the object, and then I can go object text wrap, text wrap, wrap options. <clears throat> and if I click preview and increase the point size of the margin, well, I like that better. Deselect, and there you go. And you can select your object and you can still manipulate it, put a picture over it, and put a mask over it, whatever, whatever you want to do. So that's wrapping your text around an, an, an object and controlling the margin in between the text and the object. But what I, what I want to do now is do this with a photo. So let me delete this and let me bring in a photo by going File, Place. And we're taking our time here. Let's go into part 23 and grab this image from Dreams Time. It's just a pair of shoes. So, first of all, I'm going to bring in my shoes. And of course, I'm going to embed the shoes in the properties panel so that they're really there. And I think I'm going to bring the shoes, maybe I'm not going to, yeah, I'm going to bring them over a little bit. And I think I'm going to upscale the shoes a tad. There you go. Upscale. And I'm going to wrap some text right up here. So this layer, I'm just going to call this layer shoes. And I'm just going to make a new layer and call it text. So what I want to do, and I'm going to lock the shoes layer. Let's see, what I want to do is I'm going to use the pen tool. Where are you? Where are you? Here we go.
So with the pen tool, I'm going to swap fill with stroke just so I can see what the pen tool is doing. And, okay, so my object, I would only want the object to cut out the text over here. I want the text to flow around the shoes. Yeah. Something like this. But I really don't need that much. I'm going to close the path. And that's all I really need. I mean, I could take some time and smooth these edges and everything. Okie dokie. So now, I think this is going to be a problem, but that's okay. Now I'm going to make my, rec take the rectangle tool. And put the text in right here. Get this. Click on my path. Paste my text. That's fine for our purposes, but I'm pretty sure that that path has to be above the text, so I'll take care of that in the Layers panel. Then I select my text, shift-click on my path, and I go Object, Text Wrap, Make. OK. There you go. There you go. Now, I, I don't like what's happening down here, and I kind of thought that would happen, but that's okay. I'm going to deselect, select my path, go to Object, Text Wrap, Text Wrap Options, Preview, and Increase My Margin. Deselect. And there you go. I don't like what's going on down here, but that's just my bad design. I didn't make the path big enough, and I didn't want just a little bit of text over there. But there you go. All you do is create an object, a path, and do your thing, uh, increase the margin, and you're good to go. Mess around with your text. Oh, of course. Here's my path with that green stroke. Eliminate the stroke, get rid of it, and you're good to go.